Blackshear. At the all-new Nightbird Ford in Blackshear, we have the vehicle you want at the price you need. It's just that simple. We want you to be our customer for life. We're giving a lifetime warranty on all new and pre-owned vehicles, 2009 and newer, with 80,000 miles or less. So stop the search and come see Mike Birch Ford, home of the lifetime warranty. We're saying thank you. Thank you very much for your business at Mike Birch Ford Blackshear, home of the lifetime warranty. At the all-new Mike Birch Ford, we work hard to exceed our customers' expectations every day in every department. We want to be your automobile dealer for life, so we're proud to offer it. No cost to you, a lifetime warranty on all eligible new and pre-owned vehicles. At Mike Birch Ford, the new home of the lifetime warranty, we want you to become part of our family. Not just for today or tomorrow, but for a lifetime. So come see us in our new facility in Blackshear and ask about our lifetime warranty. You'll be glad you did. Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO-FM in Jessup, 105.5 in your FM dial. The time now is 8 o'clock. It is now time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Mike Bridge Ford and Blackshear, Jessup Premium Storage, out here on the way across highway, by Lightsey's Body Shop, out on Rainier Road, and by Sonic Restaurant on South First Street. Well, Bob, we've got the Emergency Management Director in this morning from Wayne County, Donnie Ray, to tell us the latest update on Hurricane Matthew. I talked to Donnie yesterday again. Yesterday's report didn't look at it all for this area, but it's changed a little bit, but it could change again. So I just want to get Donnie in here to give us the latest information that he's got, and I get another meeting coming up at 8.30. Yeah, it's got another update coming at 8.30. Um, the 5 o'clock one this morning did say it moved a little bit more to the um, east, which is good for the coast, but just like it moved to the east, it could come back to the west too. And it died down to a, a Category 3 last night, but they said within 24 hours it'll be back up to a Category 4 with probably around 130 mile hour winds. Last night at the city meeting, they told something that a lot of people don't understand that, you know, when gusts get up to a certain mile per hour, they said 40 miles per hour or higher, that emergency vehicles can't be out on the road as a safety hazard. Even Georgia Power trucks can't be out at that time. So explain that. The Doug Lewis told people that you need to make preparation if you have people that have you know needs, they need to take precaution and get out of the area if that ever takes place because if you just wait and stay in your house and all of a sudden you need an emergency vehicle, they're not coming. That's correct. Um, fire trucks, ambulances, even the um, uh, patrol vehicles, once it gets up higher, the patrol vehicles can't even go on the roads. But for ambulances and fire trucks, it's around 40 mile an hour that come off. And I think it's actually a little bit lower for the power companies with their boom trucks. I think it's more like 35 mile an hour winds. They cannot do their job, which um, we didn't run into the issue that much last time with our Hermane, but um, Glenn County had to wait. 12 to 13 hours before their power trucks could even go out. They just sat around before they could even go out and start working on the power lines. I watched the newscaster this morning. Yeah, they were talking about some areas are evacuating. South Carolina's making that decision today at 3 o'clock. I saw where Tybee Island could possibly be evacuating. The, no evacuation plan for this area at this time. No evacuation in this area. The only one I've heard is um, Jake and St. Simons are there in discussion this morning. We got, like I said, after the briefing this morning, 8.30. They're going to be in discussion about the um, the barrier islands. What can we expect with this storm? Right now, at last time I talked to them, now I'm not, you know, I'll know more than at 830, but last time I talked to them personally, they said we could expect, we got a 60% chance of getting tropical storm winds, which is 40 mile an hour winds. And the rule of thumb with the uh, power companies are if you get 40 mile an hour sustained winds. And that's sustained winds. That's sustained winds. That's sustained. sustained. Okay. Um, at 40, you're looking at 25% of all power being out. And if it's up to 50 mile an hour sustained, you're looking at 50% of all power is the rule of thumb with them. Okay. Let's talk about emergency kits. People ask what they need. Yeah. You know, you know, tell people what they need yeah. when a storm comes through like this. You can actually go to GovReady. It's an app. Or you can go on the Internet, and it, it's got a checkoff list for you. But they, they tell you um, cash. You need cash. You need your medicine. Uh, if you got animals, that's a big issue now with animals. Um, and a lot of shelters have started taking animals, but you have to take your own food and supplies for your, your animals. Um, they want medicine, cash, water, um, flashlights, flashlights, batteries, battery operator, yes. yeah, things like that. Yes, so making all your important, food, all your important documents. documents. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So make sure, you know, that, that's what people, and like I said, I said, I heard the best line last night. Um, 
prepare for the worst, pray for the best. That's, that's right. That's, 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 the, that's the plan. And, and but, you need, you, but you need to be prepared. That's the word we're trying to stress to people. And I want everybody to understand. is the key. I want everybody to understand just because it turned, you know, a little bit. All the news media is saying it's good because it turned a little bit to the east. It could easily turn to the west. And, a, and the problem with that is, is we won't have long to prepare. Right. Uh, this is not far offshore. And this storm is... Um, as of last night, now it was 180 miles to the southeast of the storm and 80 miles to the southwest. This is a very wide storm, a big that could cover a big, big area. Big and and one storm. little turn. All right. Well, we appreciate all you do. Again, appreciate everybody keeping us up to date. Again, we're trying to keep everybody updated. But, but again, we're stressing preparation. Make sure you have those items that you need: right. cables, flashlights, batteries, water, medicine. Like I said, have your important documents in case you know gotcha. in case of the evacuation does you know we've been fortunate for many many years but you know um i was talking to the uh, one of the guys at uh, the weather station been there i mean weather jacksonville been there 30 years he said that last time they've got a storm coming in this path was 1853 so it's been a long, long time. been a while since one come this but way. We appreciate it. I said, but again we want to stress all the information where what are those websites where they get the emergency kit um it's georgia ready Georgia Ready. Georgia Ready. Georgia Ready. Georgia Ready. Georgia Ready. And also FEMA has one. Yeah. I, I think it's just go to the FEMA web page and then go off of it. Okay. Okay. We appreciate all the emails, all the updates. Again. And if anybody wants to, they can go to a Facebook to the Wayne County EMA. Uh, we try to update as quick as we can. Of course, you know, we have other duties going on, but as we can get in there, we'll update it along okay, so the, the local um, um, Wayne County EMA Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook page. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, so, as, as Bob just said, we're going to prepare for the worst and pray for the best. And uh, I think a lot of folks, <clears throat> you know, talking to folks, you get some folks who are the alarmist. You know, they just, you know, the world's coming to an end type thing. Then you get the other one saying, yeah, we've heard the story before. You know, you know, back in so-and-so year, they made us leave and nothing happened. My house got robbed while I was gone. And I'm, I'm not going anywhere because we're safely tucked in here into Georgia. You know, we're tucked in. We just seem the hurricanes just go right on by us up to the Carolinas and above there. So um, one of these days, it's going to hit us. I hope okay. this is not it. But they, these days. Uh, they keep telling me the ocean is the warmest it's ever been. On the Atlantic side, mm -hmm. therefore, that's what's scaring everybody. It'll, pick, with it. it'll make that hurricane get even yeah, stronger. More, it's more slow it down. More, more slow it down, like water. it always has. It's back in that water after going across all those islands down there. It should yes, uh, increase strength. Uh, let's see here. Okay, what are the ways for Wayne County residents to keep in contact with uh, with you and your office? Of course, the radio. They keep up. Um, you're more than welcome to call my office. Um, of course, I'm in and out because I'm the EOC room next to it. I have to run back and forth to it. But uh, they're more than welcome to call it. It's 912-427-5970. But the best way is probably the Facebook page. Um, a lot of people, we've got a lot of comments on it, even from people in Glen County and I was called and like their updates. We try to update it every hour or so to keep everybody okay. updated. And folks can, of course, keep tuned in to us at 105.5 FM, BigDogCountry.com, and our free app. We'll keep people updated on the latest information from Donnie Ray, also from the uh, um, uh, from the National Weather Service in Jacksonville, from the Weather Service in Atlanta. We'll keep up people updated on this area also with the latest information right here on 105.5 FM. All right, Donnie, we appreciate you coming in. And if anything changes at all at the 8.30 meeting, please let us know so we can get it right on the air. I'll get you an email sent out. All right. 105.5 FM at Jess Big Dog Country Radio. we got more guests coming up here on the world-famous Butcher Bob Show. Stay tuned. I'm Sean Serverville, the Wayne County nominee for the Eagle Delegate. I'm promoting adult education here in Wayne County, and I am a current GED student. Coastal Pines Technical College here in Jessup, right off of Cherry Street, they're offering free GED classes. All classes are offered in the mornings and evenings, Monday to Thursday. They will help you increase your reading, writing, and math skills, and also help you prepare for the GED test. The staff is hosting on October 6th from 1130 to 2, behind the Polytech building of Coastal Pines Technical College, an open house event. We will be offering hamburgers and hot dogs for all who are interested in enrolling GED courses for adult education. For more information on this program, Call 912-427-5822. I'll be looking for you to come join us, meet the students, instructors, and staff on October the 6th from 1130 to 2. 
105.5 FM and Jeff's Big Dog Country, WIFO. As we continue on with the world famous Butcher Bob show for this Wednesday morning, the fifth day of October. We've got R.J. Aldridge in this morning. He's the one, he's the person that heads up the Flatwood Gobblers chapter here of Ducks Unlimited here in Wayne County. Good morning, R.J. How you doing? I'm doing well. You doing well? All right, y'all got the Big Jake's event coming up this uh, Saturday. And, of course, that's uh, for the youth uh, what are your plans right now with possibly Matthew coming through, Hurricane Matthew coming through? Um, we we are still looking into the storm itself, um, trying to see how how bad it could get for us. Um, as of right now, the event for Saturday is still on. Uh, we will probably make a decision maybe about this afternoon or first thing tomorrow morning whether we are a go or we're going to you know cancel it and reschedule it. Okay. Well, just as soon as you find out, just uh, let us know and. Uh, well, uh, fast along here at 105.5 FM, whether the Jake's event will still be going on. Um, you'll make that decision either late this afternoon or in the morning. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the later that you wait, the um, more accurate you'll be about it and which way that hurricane is going to go. Somebody just texted in, will we have a shelter if needed? I know the last time a hurricane came this way, they set up a temporary shelter there at the high school. I have not heard about a temporary shelter yet, but as soon as Donnie Ray finds out whether um, the hurricane is going to impact us or not. Uh, that decision will be made, and we'll pass that information along to everyone here on 105.5 FM. So, RJ, let's say that everything goes fine and the hurricane goes out to the east and we don't have any problems on Saturday. Tell us what's going to be going on with the Jakes event here in town with Ducks Unlimited. Um, it's with the Turkey Federation. The Jakes uh, banquet is for the, for the kids, for the youth of the community. We are, uh, we're out. Oh, to sorry, I'm, did I say ducks? I'm in Turkey. <laughs> the National Wildlife Turkey Federation. Right. Okay, go ahead. We, we're wanting to, you know, just try to promote getting the young people back out, uh, back out to the outdoors, uh, away from the TVs and the video games all the time. We, we want them to get into the outdoors that um, we know and love. And uh, we're going to have a, a series of uh, games and auctions and prizes and all. And it's, it's just to promote the wildlife and, and not just the turkey, but in general, fishing, anything that, We'll get our youth back out into the to the outdoors. That's what we're wanting to promote. So the event is to to raise money to, to allow them to come out to an event to have an opportunity to possibly win a gun, uh, win other prizes that we will be giving out at the event, and uh, just to let them see that there are other people, young people out there that are that enjoy the outdoors as well. Okay, and Jake's event coming up this uh, Saturday night is going to be held where? At Unity Church of God uh, to start at 6 p.m. Okay, Saturday. At, the, at the gymnasium there at Unity Church of God, and there's the Bill Morris Park on Sunset Boulevard. And um, uh, Jake's event, of course, is part of the Flat, uh, Flatwood Golfers chapter of the National Wild Turkey Federation. And uh, I know that uh, this this is for the youth, but you know, you want those adults come to bring the youth, or there'll be a lot of youth-oriented activities, right? That's correct. That's correct. There will be uh, uh, the games will be uh, can be participated by the youth or an adult, but mostly it's it is for the youth. Um, there there will be four or five different games, uh, a possible BB uh, shooting range for them to shoot BB guns for the smaller ones, um, and then like I said, there will be prizes awarded at the end, okay. as well as an auction that will be going on. Like I said, there, there is some sort of some raising some funds, but mainly it is driven to to have them come out and enjoy something. Uh, to show them what it is about to be in the outdoors. Okay. Now, are tickets available in advance anywhere, or do you just get them at the door? We will be getting them at the door. Um, and how much are they? They are $10 to get in, uh, $10 to get in for an adult, or $10 for the child. That child amount is to uh, gives them their Jake's membership, which will allow them to receive the magazine that we send out. Um, uh, to, to see the kids' faces light up, they get this little magazine, comes in the mail, and it's strictly for them. Strictly for them. I've, yep. I've seen it uh, many times before. And uh, does that include a meal of any kind? Yes, we will be uh, serving supper that night. We're having pizza um, and uh, no, pizza, drinks, that. Uh, pizza, that's right. We, okay. we, wanted to, we want to gear it towards them. We know it's something that they would enjoy to eat. Okay. Jake's event for uh, coming up this uh, Saturday at uh, Unity Church of God, and tickets are just ten bucks each for the kids and for the adults. Yesterday we had our um, annual hunting and fishing show. We had uh, where y'all sitting right now. We had three rangers in yesterday. Uh, with Bob White and Randy Aspinwall, and a, a new guy from over in uh, Brunswick, were here yesterday to talk about um, uh, hunting regulations, fishing regulations, all that kind of stuff they're, they're involved with. Uh, but they also said they're going to be with you all on Saturday night, you know, weather permitting at the Jake's event. 
Right. That's right. We, we want them as well because it's an effort between us and them to, to try to promote the, the outdoors and the wildlife. Okay. So if the weather is safe for Saturday night, then we'll have the Jake's event. Let's just say that uh, tonight or tomorrow uh, that you make the decision that uh, you need to delay it. Do you have a date picked out in case you have to delay it? Not as of right now. There's a lot of things that we have to try to cover. One, being able to get the gymnasium uh, for a particular date. Um, getting all us being able to attend and then we have an outside person that comes from all the way from Valdosta that's with the uh, regional organization we have to try to make sure he's there as well so it's several pieces to, to for this puzzle to put together so uh, as soon as we can if we do have to cancel it we will try to get together and try to get it planned as soon as possible and go ahead and start getting the word out that it's being moved to such and such day okay now the uh, uh, Flatwood Gobblers chapter of the National Wild Turkey Federation has been active here in Wayne County for a long time now and uh, tell us a little about the activities that are y'all involved with here in the Wayne County area. Um, we we uh, we put on this Jake's event, of course. Um, we usually do try to do a youth turkey hunt and during turkey season where we uh, have to, uh, some youth come out and hunt with us. Um, we we we're trying to be involved with a fishing trip, possible for some um, some middle school students, I believe is we've had that in the past. Um, We've had some um, some youth deer hunts late in the deer season. Um, we also promote the hunter safety course here in town. That was just back this past August. We we try to we help the DNR get the word out and try to promote that because we want people to get signed up and become hunter safety and then become uh, oriented where they can get out and hunt. And they're going to have hunter safety next Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, the that they only have two uh, kids signed up right now, so they're hoping to get more signed up so they actually be able to have that hunter safety course next week. Uh, the DNR does. Right. They, we just had a really big event back in the end of August where there was almost 50 people receiving oh, wow. hunter safety cards, which is a big number that bigger number that we've had in a while. And, and that's the thing about it is is we, you know, we don't think about it here in South Georgia, but uh, hunting licenses and fishing licenses are decreasing every year. There's less people fishing, there's less people hunting. I mean, even in our area, even in a rural area like us, but you know, you got half the state living within an hour of downtown Atlanta. So you, you know, you got all that urban area there that people just, they don't know what hunting and fishing is. And so it's important in order for us to be able to keep kids involved with outdoor activities, uh, to be out there and uh, involved in conservation and to, and to enjoy the outdoors that we have organizations like yours uh, to be able to promote outdoor activities, hunting and fishing, and all the things that inv that involves the outdoor activities out there in the wild. That's right. That's that's. I grew up. That's the way I was taught to. I enjoy the outdoors, and it's one I want to give my children, and hopefully they'll give their children, and we can continue to pass it on. Right. What do you have with you today? Um, I have one of our high school students with us, um, Dave Dixon. He, um, him, and a group of other ones are, are volunteers and help out with the organization. Um, to do certain activities that we put on it gives us some extra help and plus it gives them some some volunteer experience and some some stuff to be able to put on resumes to be able to put on um, scholarship information and in which we give out scholarships ourselves and so it's a way for them to serve and and then we really appreciate their help okay good morning how are you doing sir doing fine so how long have you been involved with the, the uh, with uh, the national wild turkey federation with the flatwood gapplers chapter Believe. Since about seventh grade, I'm in twelfth grade now. Okay. And what will you be doing at the uh, Jake's event on Saturday night? Um, the youth, the high school. What we do is we help manage the games. Mm, that's it. We uh, we run the games. We take up money. We'll give out the tickets. We uh, we have a live auction. Some of us will tote the merchandise around. Okay. We have bid runners. People will go take names and informations from the people. And then we serve food. We help, you know, feast the place and prepare and clean up afterwards. Okay. All right. So several high schoolers will be involved there doing volunteer work to help out with this Jake's event. Uh, as, uh, as, you know, it's just giving back to the community here. You know, for 10 bucks, you know, they're not making any money off this. So you're just trying to get the youth out there and to try to help them, um, you know, understand uh, hunting and fishing and having some fun outdoors. Uh, the event itself on Saturday night is going to be a lot of fun with the games that the high schoolers are going to be helping you out with. you got the auctions going on. Just a great time for, you know, dads and moms and aunts and uncles and granddaddies and grandmas to get out there with the kids and have a good time on Saturday night. Absolutely. We, we, we hope so, and we're ready to uh, try to put this event on if, if weather permitting. Okay. So once again, it's Saturday night, weather permitting. If it changes, 
uh, because of Hurricane Matthew, uh, RJ will let us know and we'll pass that along. And is there a website or anything anybody can go to or Facebook page that folks can go to to uh, check on it also? Uh, the, uh, the National Wildlife Turkey Federation does have a website that has the events listed on there. Um, if we were to cancel it, I'm sure they will put word on that website as well that it is canceled. Okay, the National Wild Turkey Federation out of Edgefield, South Carolina. And uh, our local chapter is the Flatwood Golfers Chapter of uh, the National Wild Turkey Federation. RJ, uh, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Good luck with the event on Saturday night, and hopefully the weather will be good for us and you can have the event. If not, just let us know when you're going to have it again, okay? Thank you. All right, 105.5 FM and Jessup. We'll be back more of the World Famous Butch and Bob Show in a moment. Seasons change. Quality of service does it. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. 819, 105.5 FM and Jess at Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, world famous Butch and Bob show. We continue with that. Uh, Bob is had, has already left the studio. He had to head down to cover something at the courthouse. So um, he's uh, busy working news right now. So he's down there taking care of that. Of course, we'll be talking with Donnie Ray after the meeting at 830 to let us know if there's any changes for Wayne County, if any additional information that we need to pass along to you for Wayne and surrounding counties concerning Hurricane Matthew. Right now, let's take a quick break for state news from the Georgia News Network. From the Georgia 811, call before you dig new center. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Hurricane Matthew is still an extremely serious threat to the coast of Florida, but what happens after that is starting to change a little bit. The latest prediction from the National Hurricane Center has the storm passing by us near the Georgia coast a little later, maybe not until early Saturday. GNN meteorologist John Weatherby says folks on the coast are getting ready. Matthew preparations should be continuing. Weather across the state today will not be too bad. It still looks like a Friday-Saturday event. Some areas have already posted evacuations in island communities. We'll keep track of that as we go through the day and keep track of the preparations. After the storm passes Georgia and maybe South Carolina, they say it may loop around out in the Atlantic. A 17-year-old Pickens County teenager has been indicted for trying to hire a hitman to kill two of his classmates and their families. The AJC reports 17-year-old Morgan Morris was arrested in August in the case. Investigators said they got a tip that Morris was trying to hire a hitman and an undercover agent met with him. They said the agent was offered $12,000 to do the job. Testimonies underway in the Ross Harris trial in Brunswick. The defense yesterday telling jurors that they would be hearing from Harris is now ex-wife who seems to be supporting her husband. She's going to tell you. Ross Harris loved that little boy more than anything in the world. And she's going to tell you, he was a wonderful father. Harris is accused of leaving young Cooper Harris.